You're listening to the Sleep Time Storyteller. My name's Julie Kelly, and tonight I'm going to take you on a journey into deep relaxation. But first, find a comfortable position in the bed where you're lying. Wrap yourself up in that duvet or blanket and get yourself into a position where you're not likely to be disturbed for the next 10 minutes or so. Breathe gently and peacefully. Snuggle down until you feel totally comfortable and totally at ease. If there's any tension anywhere in your body, Just let it go as you gently breathe in and breathe out. With each out breath, feel your body becoming heavier and heavier into the mattress. And any muscles that feel tense, just let them soften. And now relax deeper into that mattress as I take you on a beautiful journey down 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 a stony path to where a small stream trickles you go there often to clean crystals or just to sit and look a while at what's going on around. It's like you can see the whole world from that place. And so you take the path that you've taken so many times before. You can feel the stones and pebbles crunch beneath your feet. It's strange But somehow you feel really safe because you know that you're alone. The silence, the only pebbles that crunch beneath shoes are yours. This is your secret path. It's like it's untouched except by you. And so you walk down that path until you see a familiar banking that you sit and rest for a while. You look out across the river and there's an old rickety wooden bridge. You think to yourself so many times how it could do with being fixed, but nobody ever does. You look far out into the distance. There's hills that seem to go for miles and miles. But suddenly something catches your eye. You've not seen that before. It looks like a ring of flickering lights. That's mysterious. You get up, you stand and look further just to see if you can make out what it is, but you can't. Well, there's only one thing to do. That's to go and find out. So you brush yourself down and start walking further along the stony path. Down past the river and towards the old rickety bridge. There's something quite adventurous about going across that bridge. You don't like doing it, but you feel very brave when you did. And so, you start to move towards the bridge, and you hear it creak and crackle as you walk across. But you get to the other side, and you continue down the path, and the lights seem brighter now. What could it be? The only thing down there 
is the other part of the river and a few rocks. So as you move closer to the lights, you see something that you haven't noticed before. Well, actually, you've never been that far before. It's the entrance of what looks like an old cave. And it's lit with a hundred candles, or at least it looks like a hundred. You slowly enter in, and the minute you do, your footsteps start to echo. You can hear each footstep echoing all around the cave. It's cold in there, but yet the heat from the candle flames seem to warm you the closer you get to them. But you're intrigued now. It's an old salt cave. You can taste the salt as you touch the walls and then lick your fingers. So as you walk deeper into the salt cave, it's like a whole corridor lit with candles. And you walk further and further in. And as you walk further, you can hear the sound of water. It must be the river running underneath. How beautiful. As you look around the walls, there's pinks and blues, greens and reds, all the different colours that have been made from the salt, and all different patterns where it's shifted with time. So you carry on walking, and everywhere is still lit with candles, hundreds of candles you feel safe and protected and as you walk a little bit further you see something reflecting in the distance it's bright blue and as you move towards it you notice it's a pool of clear water it's so clear everything in that room is reflected in that water You almost feel like if you bathed in it, you'd heal and come out of there 10 years younger. It feels like healing water. Maybe you'll go in there later, but now it's time to explore. But you move to the water and you cup some in your hands and drink some. It doesn't taste salty. It tastes like the clearest, freshest water that you ever tasted. And it seems to make your whole body feel clear and light. But now you move beyond the water and further down the corridor. And there you see another room, it's bright orange and it's lit with candles on the walls, on the floor, on the ledges, everything is made of salt, except two really, really big comfy bean bags. Oh my goodness, you've never felt so relaxed. And so you go over and you sit on the beanbags and when you do, they envelop your whole body. You lay there looking at all the colours and the lights. It's vibrant, every colour of the rainbow and it's been hidden. So as you lay there, you look around listening only to the sound of water and the occasional drip where the salt drips down the walls and the water meets it.
you start to feel totally relaxed and totally at ease and you let yourself go deeper and deeper deeper and deeper as you feel every part of your body enveloped by that bean bag and your eyes close and you feel that bean bag take every ounce of your weight and there you drift in deep slumber for the whole night relaxed peaceful and undisturbed sleep well my friend namaste